Jesus. There we go. Welcome to New Divide Outdoors. Today we're gonna go try and catch a few sockeye. In Alaskan terms, swinging for sockeye. Uh, this year the sockeye run up here in Alaska is uh, kind of slow. Not the normal, the normal run with you know really good numbers of fish. So hopefully today we can uh, get a limit of fish for the freezer. That'd be nice. We got plenty of time, so that should be on our side. And uh, we'll see on the water. No worries over nickels and dimes. Or a nine to five grind. I gotta get loose sometimes. In trouble, seeing all the signs. But it gets me high. So I take the ride, ride, ride. There it was. Are you kidding me? That bit my line already. The first snag I hit, it hit it in the mouth and clipped it. Walk back slowly. Keep lifting, keep lifting. Where did it go? Jesus, there we go. How's it feel? Got him. Uh, go grab the bonker. It's 
so we can make eggs. Did you eat your Yeah, I did. All right, just make sure she don't go nowhere. Oh. Oh, lost the whole thing. <sighs> There's like three of them right here. There's like three right here. So stand like right here, get it, and then bam. there too. Rock or fish? There we go. I think so. Nope. 
No, someone's lying. That's why it felt like it. <laughs> False alarm. Dang it. Today. We got ended up with two. Um, just the weather just keeps getting worse and worse, so we're gonna get out of here. Show you how to fillet these. I think I'm going to uh, fillet these, keep the bellies, and save the eggs so that uh, we can have some salmon caviar. So we'll see you at the fillet table. All right. So this is a female here. We're gonna get her eggs out so we can make some salmon caviar. What we'll do first is just fillet her normal. Down like that. Run this knife. Right down that spine. All the way against the back of that rib cage. And we'll poke it out right down here by the anus.
how red that meat is. And we'll just shave this meat right off the rib cage there. Well, that got a little hairy. <laughs> Dang, uh, I don't know if y'all heard, but everybody started yelling bear while I was cleaning that fish, and uh, the bear started sprinting up from behind. So, we had to tuck tail and get out of there. So, I just finished uh, cleaning that fish up downriver a little further, and uh, we're gonna get out of here, and we'll see y'all in the kitchen. We're back in the kitchen now, and uh, we have our salmon eggs. I know y'all didn't get the uh, best video of me taking the eggs out of the fish but that's thanks to a bear all we need for this recipe is olive oil and some coarse kosher salt some glassware a colander and that's pretty much it i don't have a colander so i'll just be winging it so hopefully it turns out pretty good so basically all you do is fillet the fish and the egg sac is there in the in, under the gut there in the cavity just pull the sack of eggs out and you'll end up with a sack of eggs just like that. So first thing we'll do is you want to get this membrane that holds all the eggs together called the seam, sane, whatever it is. You want to remove that. So what we'll do is we'll put this under hot water. Really you need a colander, but I don't have one here. So this is just going to have to do hot water rinse these real good and you can see they're kind of changing colors that's not a big deal that's fine they'll change back Swirl it around, kind of help loosen things up in there. Okay, so this is the egg sack here. You can see, gotten a bunch of the eggs off of it. Just kind of massaging it. You don't want to squeeze it or anything. It just, it's just like a light massage. I'm really mostly just doing this because I don't have a colander. It's a lot easier with a colander. Just run the water over it and eventually this thing shrivels up and you, it comes off. So I got that. As you can see, I'm starting to get the eggs off the or out of the egg sack there, so it's coming along. So I got it all, got it all rinsed off, got them all out of their egg sack. You can see them right there. They're a little off color just from the water, but they'll turn back. So what I'll do is I'm going to transfer these. Let me finish draining this water real quick. I'm going to transfer these to glassware. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll add our salt water. And there might still be a few, you know, imperfections or whatever else in here. And if you see them, you know, now's the time. Go ahead and pick them out. We have 
our salmon eggs. So what I'll do is I'll get, I'll add two cups of hot water to this bowl, then I'll add a half cup of salt in there, and then I'll mix that. Make sure that salt dissolves. Get this, make sure this water's hot so it dissolves that salt. Another thing too to remember when you're doing this is do not use metal utensils if you're touching the eggs. So I'm using a metal utensil right now, this spoon, so that I can mix this salt water. But if I was going to be mixing it in there, you do not want to use metal. Use wooden or plastic. So I'm gonna set my timer and I'll, I'll let these eggs sit in the salt water for like 70 seconds or so. sit for 70 seconds. Just gonna strain these off by hand kind of here. Best I can. done there and we'll put it in the refrigerator and we'll add a little one teaspoon of oil put it in the fridge and then we'll eat it once it's cold so we've had the salmon the eggs in here chilling so we'll pull these guys out as you can see there I added the uh, tablespoon of oil on them and mix that in there before I put them in there so that is on there and as you can see I have Put some cream cheese on some crackers and then uh, see about putting the uh, eggs on there. Give them a little last mix up. Make sure that oil is spread around good. A little much there. A little messy, but it's getting eaten anyways. All right, there we have it, salmon caviar. So, see how it is. That's really good. That's bomb. For real, that's good. I didn't think it was gonna be that good. I know it's good, but I didn't think it was gonna be that good. So, I hope you liked the video. If, uh, if you liked this video, please subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.